the fifth annual Safari Guide of the Year competition saw yet another exceptional group of finalists converge at Nkambeni Safari Camp in the Kruger National Park. This year, we had VIP guest Nadav Ossendrever with us, who is the founder and CEO of the phenomenal online crowdsourced community LatestSightings.com to share his experience of the finals. Following the ever-challenging birding category, each contestant was put through their paces by the expert panel of judges. I think we've had Big Five on virtually some of the members of the Big Five in every walk we've done. Excited to go on my first drive this morning. They've got so much character in them and, and also attitude. That's what I like about these, these bulls. And so the burning question, who would take home the honors for Safari Guide of the Year 2015? Uh, it's gonna be a silent walk, so we're gonna try and be as quiet as is possible. If you could just follow any of my instructions without hesitation. If you do feel uncomfortable in contact, please let me know. This is the most important one. Please, immediate danger. Seeing a, a leopard track and knowing that you're walking amongst it, it's such an amazing feeling. And you never get that when driving around. We need to get a message across to other guides in terms of uh, creating a professional culture of guiding, but also to educate the broader public in terms of what is a professional guide, what does a professional guide do. When it came to photography, it was the finalists' turn to pay attention and apply their skills to capturing the essence of the competition. Once you think you know it all or you think, you know, you've studied lines and you know them backwards and then they do something completely different. Our role now more than ever is to quit the facades and to, to tell the truth more blatantly. Fireside storytelling had us wiping tears of laughter and listening attentively. They'll lift a rock like this and check. And if there's a snake, you reckon they'll put the rock back very, very slowly <laughs> and then they'll run off. <laughs> we were with this wild dog, busy saving its life, and the pack was surrounding us and, and just kind of like, you know, nodding us on. Asymmetrical pack. You can definitely see there's claw marks in there. Huh? I think it's just such an awesome opportunity for guides from all over the country to have the opportunity to get together and I, I think that's what's important. We said stop look there are a whole lot of vultures and we decided we can't miss this opportunity so we went to go follow the vultures and they led us to this incredible sight. I've never seen anything like it. So obviously trapped him, he fell, broke his neck, possibly some other bones in his body as well. I think the, the main thing is, is, is the awareness that's been created through this competition. Really? Yes. Have you enjoyed the Safari Guide 2015? It's been an amazing experience. I enjoyed it every day. Beautiful sunrise in the low felt. I just got a report on latest sightings about um, some lions and uh, we are hopefully um, you know, going to get some visual of them. We've just arrived at the scene. Are we expecting them to be walking this way? We took the tracks with us. We want to check where they're crossing. Okay. We can get onto the tracks.
a, a guide that I was doing a bit of mentorship with um, in the Eastern Cape uh, found out that I was I was a finalist for this and he said you know what I want my name to be up there one day and he's, he's not even a year in the industry and uh, I thought yeah that's what Safari Guide of the Year is all about. I think he's tired. Uh, after eight days of, or to two weeks of trying to defend your territory, not feeding, not drinking, only mating and fighting, you must get tired. With good sufficient rain, you'll see pygmy, goose. But it's amazing, you know, with these smaller birds of prey, you know, they often go for Cape turtle doves. I wonder if that's not, you know, other Cape turtle dove or laughing dove. What an amazing experience, eh, Dave? I've learned so much, it's been a humbling experience. The shooting category was wired with as much adrenaline as ever, requiring the finalists to think and act on their feet under the simulated stress conditions of big game encounters. When you shoot the last one, then you open. The clock stops, you get a minute and 10 seconds. So today we've got Nadav here with us who's going to teach him how to fire a big caliber rifle. Let, let's see how he does. I'm just excited to be here and I'm ready. Today has been a day just full of firsts. I mean, first leopard call, first me driving the car first, you know, <laughs> river crossing. Yeah, river crossing, first shooting. I hope you've enjoyed having me. I was very lucky that my first video <clears throat> that I ever posted like, kind of went viral and got 3 million views. And that's what we try to focus on because people already connect to authenticity. And your episode is the following I understand that some 70,000 people are doing so much for conservation. Keep it up. We <laughs> congratulate you. <laughs> There needs to be a, a way of a balance and understanding and, and more importantly respect where that humans and, and nature can interact uh, together. Next, the tracks and signs assessment led by renowned Renius Machlango escalated the tension even more. We heard earlier on that there might be lion in the area. There was that anticipation the whole time to maybe stumble onto them. Welcome everybody and thank you for your hospitality and thank you for your participation. I want to put a proposal together that guides will actually play a significant role in dragging the public perception particularly much quicker. It's time we all recognize what you've done as the creator, the architect behind this competition. Thanks very much for um, all the sponsors. We appreciate it very much and a special thanks to our guests that have traveled from overseas. This is what this is all about, is us saying thank you to you to, for being ambassadors, to being custodians of our wildlife. It's a real honor to be able to pass this trophy on of Safari Guide of the Year. The runner-up for Safari Guide of the Year 2015 is Adrian Banton. has been amazing. Um, thank you for not laughing at me yesterday on the shooting range. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all so much.